What's up guys? Matt Hospital, prospecting geologist here today with another uh, video for you guys. And today I want to discuss um, drones, using drones to help you in your gold prospecting. Since I know many, many people out there nowadays have these readily commercial, uh, readily available drones and stuff like the DJI Mavics and the Phantoms and stuff. Um, and I know a lot, a lot of people just use them for the pictures and just the videos that they can shoot as well as kind of like scouting over ridges and hills. But there's a whole nother avenue and route that you can go that these drones can help you in your prospecting. Um, both east and west coast, uh, which there's definitely differences between the two. With the west, you can actually uh, see the ground a lot better. There's not as much vegetation, whereas the east, there's a lot of vegetation, so you got to pick your pick your battles more so. Um, but I want to get into it here, and right now on the screen, basically what you're seeing is drone video I shot of a river. Uh, and, and, I mean, viewing this type of stuff can be very helpful because as, as it's going, you can pick out potential good areas to dredge and prospect. Uh, and it gives you this bird's eye view that generally you can't see from the ground. Like all these bigger boulder and cobbles in there. If you're standing even here, I doubt you can see those. Um, but it just gives you a beautiful bird's eye view. Um, of, of the river itself and everything and generally you need to have clear water for to have views like this obviously but uh the other aspect of it uh even if you don't have clear water is you could send it up when the river's flooding and be able to potentially see high and low pressure areas and stuff within the river um but the main the main thing I want to talk about with these, and I think a lot of people may not know, so we're looking at the same section of river, is that these drones can do photogrammet phototomography, uh, which is basically you can build yourself a map of an area using pictures from the drone. Um, and there are many programs out there for free. I think uh, Drone Deploy. Drone Deploy is one of them that uh, will let you do so many maps, I think, in a month for free. And uh, basically, it'll stitch all those photos together into one beautiful, large picture that can then be like overlaying on Google Earth. And the detail that it gives is so much higher than what we see here on Google Earth right now. So right now we're looking at that same area we were just viewing in the video. Um, and I mean, you can see the, the details. It, Google Earth is great. It's a great tool. But even if we, if we scroll back through the years and stuff, I mean, the detail generally doesn't get much better. You can see kind of some flooding, blurrier. Um... I think that's one of our best right there. But you still, it's just not that clear. But if you have one of these drones and you go out to these places, you should really send it on some mapping missions. Because this is a small one that I did right in this area. And they overlay super accurately too. Within This one looks like it's within 5 or 10 feet. Um, but now you can see as you zoom in, like, it's just, the, the detail's incredible. You can zoom in so close and see all these nooks and crannies and bedrock trends and everything else. Um, so then another, with this, if you, so say you're dredging this area, um, you can put a marker down or something each time you go out and say, you dredged this area. Uh, right there. And you would fly it at the end of the day when you're done dredging and you'd be able to see actually where you dredged. And then you come out 
the next time and you are able to line up kind of where you were in dredge and you can you would actually be able to form a map a, like a collage of maps that show incrementally where you've dredged and worked through this section of river um and then another aspect that you could do with it too is so when this river would be flooding you could fly it and you'd be able to see the outskirts of where the water is better um, possibly high and low pressure areas within the river itself a lot better uh, and things like that but I think this is a this is a tool that people with drones are kind of underutilizing even if they're using their drones when they're out there prospecting because um, then it really lets you go back and do better research and just familiarize yourself with that area a lot better um, than even what Google Earth will let you. Uh, so it's just a, it's a cool tool to be able to use. Um, so I would recommend looking into it, especially if you have a drone. Like I said, I think drone deploy, there's a number of free programs out there that'll let you do it on so many maps a month. Drone deploy and a number of other ones uh, are very, very helpful and will do this type of mapping for you. I mean, I just, I love being able to look at that, the detail and everything compared to some of the other ones, just like the detail compared to Google Earth. Like if we turn it on and off right at this section, like blurry, undescript rocks, and then you turn it on, like you can actually see nooks and crannies in the rocks. <laughs> um, so it's a very powerful tool. I I sold my drone a while back to buy a metal detector. Now I'm kind of like thinking maybe I should buy buy another one to be able to start doing this again. Uh, but super powerful tool to be able to use and document your areas that you prospect or want to prospect. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, uh, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Because we're going to have more videos like this and other informational and adventure related ones. And uh, see you out there in the field.